great because I was like so into doing something here in Design Space. I want to show you some of the really cool things that they've recently added in Design Space. Plus, we're doing a really, really fun craft today. We are making these. Are they adorable? They are little owls. Now, Loretta, I know you don't like owls, but look at this owl. It's so cute. It's so cute. And then there's a kind of matchy matchy thing going on here with this. It's it's like a big. I love my Valentine's big. Um, <laughs> you had an ad again? Oh, we must be getting popular, Loretta. We're rolling in the dough. We are rolling in the dough. Uh, the advertising, I think they probably give you less than a penny every time somebody watches them. Anyway, look what we're making today on Cricket Chat. Aren't these great? Oh, wow. We're going to have fun. Before I came on, though, I was looking at some changes in design space. And oh, my gosh, you guys, you're going to be so amazed if you haven't seen these changes yet. Um, I am. Let's just go to my uh, let's go to my canvas. But I was playing around with some images. This is the canvas for the I'll Be Yours Valentine and Paper Treat Bag, um, which I'm not going to take the time to cut out today, but I'm going to take more time to talk about design space and then also to put this together. It takes a little bit of time to put this together, but we're not going to actually cut it out because it would take a long time. Okay, so this is an adorable craft. It's been around for a really long time. I remember doing it about three years ago. Um, and then I was like, why don't we do this? It's so much fun. Everybody loves little owls except for Loretta. <laughs> except for Loretta. So um, so we're going to do that. Let me just say hi to everybody. Good morning. We've got a lot of people on this morning. Yeah, 47 people watching right now. And yeah, I have a little bit of nose thing going. You know what's going on? I think it's my medication that I'm taking because I was kind of clear for a week and because the medication that I take for the MBC is... Uh, is like three weeks on, one week off. And I noticed that the three weeks on, I was really stuffed up. And I've been taking a lot of decongestants, but it still get really stuffed up. Plus, you know, the heat's on and I am just, I'm a, I'm a very hot person person. I guess I'm, I'm always hot. Like last night I went to the, uh, midterm inauguration at PBD, um, where is it? The Wigan Auditorium in downtown PBD Square. And, and, I uh, saw a lot of my friends. I took my friend Stacy, you know, the one that lives down the street, the one that's super talented and does all kinds of sewing and everything. She's still like afraid of, of going live uh, with you guys. And I keep telling her, you know, like it's so much fun. Say, so you don't have to worry about being weird. She's funny. She's like, she's, I'm so sarcastic. Um, and I'm like, that's okay. People will like it. They'll call you refreshing. <laughs> So we went down there, we saw a couple of the, you know, we hobnobbed with some of the, let's see, the mayor was there, and Senator Lovely was there, and who else was there? Oh, um, Representative Walsh, uh, there was the police department, the fire department, uh, all of the city councilors, all the mayor's uh, office. And what else? I was there because I got invited because I'm on the Conservation Commission. So this will be my third year doing Conservation Commission, which is really just about um, protecting the wetlands, mostly the wetlands. Um, and I work with someone from City Hall. This is my third year doing it. Plus, I am also part of this group called Green Peabody. And as such, I... I just know a lot of people, I guess, and I just love seeing them. I haven't seen them all in so long, and uh, this was kind of my first time. Well, I don't want to say my first time. In, my first time in a, in the Wigan Auditorium in a long time. Um, I went last year 
to visit the mayor a couple times, but I never went for a ceremony or a meeting. So uh, I haven't gone in a while since the pandemic. So that's pretty cool. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I got to tell her that she would really, really like it. She's, um, she is so talented. My friend Stacy, she does book binding. She, she was wearing a coat that she had made and she put full lining in there. And I'm like, Stacy, oh my God, everybody would love you. And she's like, I don't know. I get so scared. And I'm like, you don't have to show your face. I think a lot of people think doing this, that they have to show their face all the time. And that's uncomfortable. I mean, maybe the kids today, they don't mind that. But I think at our age, sitting in front of, like, even on Zoom, I have to, like, shade out my own face. It's like I don't I don't look at myself that much. <laughs> I don't look at myself that much. It's so weird. Anyway, so, um, so we were talking all about great things coming up this year, the mayor and some of the open spaces. And I'm so excited. I just love being part of the local scene, um, as well as, I guess, the, the international scene now we, that we have friends in, in Ireland and the UK, whatever. Yeah, FaceTime. It I think it's a generational thing, Dorothy. I really do. Anyway, I'm chatty today. Yesterday I was fast and today I'm chatty. So um let's get started before I get too many complaints. So this is a really fun project. There's actually two separate projects and you can pick this up in the cricket community. If you're looking for the cricket uh the community. I'm going to show you really quick how to get there. So when you're in design space, this is called your canvas. But if you want to see the community, you're going to click over here. I don't know if you can't see my finger over. Let me just move back a little. So right here, you see that right there? It's three lines and they call that the hamburger icon. Okay, because it looks sort of like a hamburger and we Americans are all obsessed with hamburgers. So um, you click on that and you'll see your pretty face or whatever image. And I think there must be something if you don't have your picture in there. But you'll see your name and your pretty face and you can actually click on the view profile right here. And this is my personal profile, okay? And I want to encourage you to follow uh, me. <laughs> yeah, right, right, Gail. Uh, no complaints. <laughs> I wouldn't complain about hanging out. I know. Oh, I love this. This is like, this just, ah. I am actually an introvert, but there's something about like just being on and just talking and just kind of let loose that I just absolutely adore. Um, okay. So anyway, here is my profile, but we all have our own profiles. It's what you decide to do with it. So when you come up here and you click on here, you'll see your picture and your name. Go to view profile. Now this is my profile, okay? So look what I did. I put today's project up here because I wanted to show you that you could change your image that's, that's assigned to you. So when you click on this arrow right here. It's not really an arrow. It's a pencil. You can edit your background image. So see right there, I put my little I'll be yours guy in there. And um, you could even zoom up and all of that. Like, I don't know. I My pictures are always like, I put them up there and I'm like, Oh, I can see where I left right here. I left a little bit of glue on this before I took the picture. Can you believe it? Anyway, so that's what we're doing. We are changing our profile. If we want to change any of the information on the profile, you're going to hit edit profile and you will just put your profile name, which mine is Miss Rita to the rescue, right? And then, um, and then it says about me and you have 350 characters that you can write whatever you want. And this isn't just reserved for me. This is reserved. This is for anybody that has a design space login. Hold on a second. Hey, what are you chewing on? 
sorry. Benji's chewing on something plastic again. All right, so you it's not just me. Go in there. Put your little about me in there. And then you can use your uh, location. And then also how long you've been a member. Look at me. I'm probably the old one of the oldest ones on here. November 20, 2012. So I started with, which is kind of funny that date because... That is definitely when I started cricketing. And but it's not the first time I used Design Space because Design Space didn't actually exist then. It must be when I first created my first like I first started ordering from Cricket. It could be that. Anyway, um, you can do this and let us know all about where you are. So if you're looking for any one of my projects, you can. Let's go over here. Now we're going back to the hamburger menu. And we hit home. And right up here, you can type in Miss Rita. Now you'll get uh you'll get some but not all of my uh, projects. But see here, these are my personal projects because that's what I'm logged in as me. But if you scroll down and you go to community projects, you'll see here there's me, and then the people that are showing up. We've talked about these people before. Terry, Leslie, Christiana, Dawn, they have made projects that were inspired by me, right? Um, and so if we click on this, it used to say inspired by this project. I don't know if it, uh, I don't know if it does. So there's Dawn. Dawn made this Hello Pumpkin card, and she wrote it actually inspired by Miss Rita. But there used to be a, a little place where it said inspired by, but apparently it doesn't anymore. I don't know. Maybe they'll make it come back. Anyway, so this is where you're going to find me, is in the community, and I want you to... Oh, you did? Oh, I'm so glad, Colleen. I still have the other one I owe you. Uh, yeah. Oh, thanks, Babs. All right. So I know, talky talky. And um, so this is where you're going to find my project. So let's go back now to our canvas and we will talk about this project. So this project is in design space. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to upload it. It's right there in design space. You're going to hit images and we're going to go to... First, let's just do a search. We're going to search for owl. Let's just do owl search, okay? There's actually surprising quite a few owl images in design space. But one of the things that I noticed uh, when I was looking for this image, like I kind of go reverse engineer some of the projects because I can't remember where I originally got the image from. So I was looking in and I was doing owl and then I noticed something uh, over for, I noticed two things over here. Do you see right over here? It says my stuff. So I can, I have bookmarked, you guys know, you see me do it all the time. I bookmark an image. If I want to just look in my bookmarked images for the word owl, I would click on this square and it's going to bring up all the owls, including these two. Isn't that great? But while we're here, also I want to show you something else. When we're in the search, if you click on this triple dot, you see that triple dot? Now I have already bookmarked this, okay? But when I click on the triple dot, um, oh, how come it, oh yeah, here it is. See this add to collection? Here it is. Click on that. Now I have created, because I'm crazy, but I have created a ton of collections. So see me, I think I probably have the most collections out there. So I have a collection of projects and these are what these are. But if I want to save this image that I have bookmarked in a certain collection, which isn't this a great idea? I don't know who came up with it, but it's genius, right? So for instance, I want to save this image. Before you could only put projects 
in your collection. Now you can put images in your collection. This is fabulous news for people like me that go around bookmarking everything in under the sun, right? So I'm going to hit here, this owl goodie bag, and I am going to add it to my, val it's already there, Valentine's Day collection. And I think, is that all I have it listed under? Valentine's Day? Yeah. So I already did it. So if I wanted to say create a new collection, such as, all right, here's this one. I'm going to create this new collection called Cricket Community. And this is where all of my Cricut Community project files will go. Isn't that great? All right. So I just go ahead. I just went ahead and did that. So um, let's put this into these two images onto our canvas. Now I did make a few changes here. So I'm going to just mention them and then and then we'll go put this together. But as you can hear, I'm getting like even more uh, stuffed up by the second. So here are these two um, images. This, I, I just made it, I think I made it like about five inches, five, maybe, I don't even know what I made. This, like, it's this size, so let me just check. One, two, three, four inches wide. So up here, I can either do this here or up here. And I can make it a very specific amount, like four inches wide by unlocking it and then changing the height to whatever I want it to be. Or if I keep it locked, it will change the height and the width uh, proportionately, right? So I think I did this like four by six. Yeah, maybe a little over six. So four by six makes this really cute Valentine. Let's unlock it. So uh, ungroup it, I should say. And I'll show you. All it is um, is this flat piece of paper. See that? With these cutouts, which I actually did in paper because this was a super easy project. I wanted to keep it simple. And then you put the owl together by uh, lining up the pieces and you add the beak and the wings. And then this little piece down here, I'm gonna show you how that goes together. So that's the first one, super easy to do. Now this one here, oh, it's so cute, isn't it? Um, but the thing I like about tree bags is when they use brads. Um, this is a brad. You see this thing right here? That's called a brad. You can buy them super fancy or you can buy, go the cheap OG way, which is me. This is me all the way. So I bought these. Remember seeing these in your box, in your, in your uh, desk drawer forever? So these are called brads and they are like little, winged things uh, that hold hold it together without ripping the paper but so in order for them to work you need to have a hole in there okay so um let me ungroup this and just show you how i did it so this is uh the actual treat bag we're gonna just need this piece and then the the handle piece. So let me just move these all over. And you see, I want to put a little hole on each end of this. And then I want to put matching holes over here. So when I put it together, it won't be, I won't have to glue it. It's kind of awkward to glue in this position. And I just like the swingy, you know, I just like the swingy nature of Brad's. They're just cute, you know? Um, so I just, that's what I want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do to get that into my Cricut. Now, granted, you could hole punch after the fact, which, um, I'd have to say that would be my first inclination because this is a little bit confusing, uh, for a newer person, but I think it's good to understand the concept. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. We're going to go into shapes and we're going to choose instead of a square, we're going to choose a circle. Now here's my circle. It comes in at two inches. Okay. Let me, uh, 
Let me just get rid of this stuff because I don't need it. Or we don't need this stuff. I'm just going to get rid of it to make things easier to look at. Now, I have to make my circle a quarter of an inch, no more than a quarter of an inch, because you see, my brads are one half of an inch. You see that? One half of an inch. So, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the width to 0 0.25. That's a quarter of an inch, okay? 0 0.25, circle, everybody with me? Um, then I'm going to duplicate this. And unfortunately, duplicate comes over here. And now I'm going to take this piece and I am going to line it up right on a line, right on this line, the 20 mark. And then I'm going to take one of the circles and I'm going to place that circle using that little bullseye thing as a measure. And I'm going to put it right on that 20th line. I'm going to take the, the next one and down below, I'm going to move it right there and give it about a quarter of an inch on the end because you don't want it to rip, okay? Now that you have them placed where you want them, you're going to take this away. Just move it over, and then you're going to select, whoop, you're going to select both of these together, and then you are going to come down here, right down here, guys, okay, to combine and then you're going to hit weld. Okay. Now, the reason you do this is because um, you want them to be treated as one layer. And by combining them, you have the exact width. Okay. Now, we're bringing back the handle. And we are going to place it where we want it like exactly where we thought it would be. Then we're going to select them both, and then we're going to choose slice down here. Slice, okay? So when you slice, remember what I told you, slicing is like when you're making Christmas cutout cookies. You have your dough, you have your cookie cutter, and then when you put the cutter into the dough, it creates a slice, and then you have to peel off the layers. So that's what I did here. So now our piece has the two holes, but this piece doesn't have the matching holes. So save your little holes that you cut out and go over here, detach the uh, score because you can't do this with a scored item. And then we're going to take our, our uh, things again and what we'll do is we'll contour out one of them. And we're going to take that little circle and put it here. Maybe I'll make this about halfway. Yeah. So we're going to put it like about here. And then I'm going to, to make another one, duplicate. Bring it over here. Make sure that you're lining them up at approximately the same place. So, like, for me, I, would, I was going to try to do halfway. So, let's move this up here. And halfway is right about here. Okay? And then here, this one halfway is there. And now, remove this piece. Group these two. And then combine weld. All right, you just welded it. Now you're going to take it and put your other piece back like this. Then you're going to select them both and slice. All right, we're not quite done, but we're getting there. So stay with me, okay? And then we can delete all these holes. We don't need them anymore. And then we just have to take our score, which is now coming out behind, okay? So we need to go arrange, bring to the front, all right? And then here is our score. Let's bring that score, we'll move it over here, and we'll place it where it's supposed to go. Here, here, okay? And then select them both and hit attach. Attach is down here. Then cut everything out, okay? So now we're at the place we're going to cut it out. And so I'm going to move the camera down, okay? So, 
All right, so let's look at our originals. This is what we're making. So this one here is the, uh, in, I don't know, the what, the, what do you call it? The, the Valentine itself. So do you could make both or one or the other. You don't have to make them both. So I want to show you both of them together because they're kind of matchy. So I don't know if you have little grands and you want to uh, make a few for their class or you want to give this to your grand. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, you do you, right? And the colors I chose, which I love this seafoam color. I love this seafoam color. Um, especially with a uh, red. I don't know why. It looks really cool with red. So these are all, all the colors I use. They're all solids. I didn't use anything patterned, although I will say that I did use uh, some glitter paper for the little heart thing, but it's, it's just a piece of, it was just a piece, regular piece of glitter from Cricut, red glitter. So this is all you need to create both items, okay? You might need a couple of sheets of the green. The green and the pink are from Cricut. And uh, this is called, used to be called Seafoam and the pink. I forget. I think it's called Party Pink. But I might be wrong. Okay. Now the and the this red glitter is from Cricut. The uh, eight and a half by eleven though the Cricut doesn't make, so I buy it from my craft store. Now I found that most craft stores have their own brand. My craft store happens to be Michaels, and I buy this. It's called Recollections. But your craft store might be different, and it's still the same thing. It's you're going to look for medium weight cardstock. And medium weight is about 60 or 65 pounds. That's how the weight, it's not just weigh 60 pounds, but it has a, a stiffness. And that's how they, they measure the stiffness is by poundage. So if you wanted a medium weight cardstock, which is, which is by the way, the same thing as a Cricut cardstock, because it's done by the pound, then you can go to your craft store. Sometimes you can buy the colors individually, um, like in a pack of 50, or oftentimes they're in like uh, an assortment where you get like a bunch of different colors of the green spectrum or the red spectrum. You do you, whatever you want, but these are what I used, okay? And we cut those all out, and then we made these two things. This, by the way, I didn't have a cutesy little valentine's day uh pencil but wouldn't it be cute it's designed so that the owl is like basically in its little claws holding onto the pencil right so let's put these together here oh my, let me get a glass of water here oh i'm so stuffed up i'm so sorry let's put together the uh, the actual Valentine's first, okay? The Valentine first. So here are all the little pieces that we cut out. And this is just the base. I think it would be a whole lot of fun if you had your grand or your little, you know, two, whatever. You remember those little cute? And they're like tiny now. So stupid. So <laughs> so I just love rather make my own. Uh, and I did, by the way. I used to make them. Now Owen's oh, too old. So I have to torture you with all my Valentine's ideas. All right, we're going to need some glue, and we're also going to need uh, brads. So you use whatever brads you want, but I made my hole a quarter of an inch, and so my brads are going to fit in there perfectly. So um, the first thing I'm going to do with this top sheet is I am going to, because there is a, what do you call it? There's a line here a score line here, you see? And then we're just gonna go, cause it's a little hard with my chubby little fingers. So this is why I use this. So there we go. Plus my nails, oh my God, my nails. Um, and I don't have time today to get my nails done. So you're gonna have to look at my cruddy nail job for an, at least another day. Okay, so we're just folding it, I'm folding it both ways. And it will come into play in a second, all right? So there's the front piece. So I turn that over. I'm going to take my white piece 
And I'm actually going to put my glue on the back of the pink. Um, right here, make sure you get some glue where the feathers are. And uh, it will become important in a second. All right. And then we take the white piece. I saw one of my old friends at the invocation or whatever, the inauguration yesterday. Uh, her name is Bev and she's on the school committee and she's so darling. And um, she's older than me. Um, and she used to, she's been around for a long time. I don't mean that like, in a, you know, she's just been around the city. She's on been on the school committee for decades and she does so much for our city. Um, and she knew my aunt who was a seamstress. I don't know if I mentioned that my aunt Anna was a seamstress and, uh, she knew my aunt. In fact, my aunt, they would go to these official things together. And my aunt would say, would say, Beverly, honey, this is not the right hem <laughs> for your pants. And uh, she'd bring those over to my house and I'll fix them for you. That is exactly how, well, I guess sort of a lot like me, right? Um, where I'd be like, oh, no, dear, you must come over to my house <laughs> and we'll fix you right up. Uh, I was thinking that is such a a um, an Italian thing, uh, you know. You guys, I've been telling you about you know my Italian family, and and uh, it's such an Italian thing to do to be like, oh no, honey, you got to work on those, you know, whatever. And then I realized, oh my God, I am just like that in person. I'm like. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. And we just have these little conversations. And I'm like, oh, this is so much fun. It's fun to be with people. Um, okay, so you can see that I have all these little teeny tiny bits. So I am using my tweezers so that I can get this on here. But there is another tool I'll show you really in a second. But there is another tool you can use. It's called... It's not by Cricut, but it is called a pick quick stick. It used to be called a pick em up stick, but now they call it a quick stick precision pickup. And so it has like on the tip a little bit of, I think it's like wax and you can uh, pick up small pieces with it. So there's the little tip there. So here's my B. So I'm going to put all B like this and this is going to go here so I'm going to glue that there all right and I know it's crooked it's kind of funny that it's crooked right and then I can either take this right or I could take this and then turn it upside down like that and then put a little bit of glue well the only thing is, it works better when you do it with this. That's why I was doing it with this. You see that? So there is my tweezers, and you do this. Boop, boop. Oops. Don't. If you have those uh, self-closing tweezers, which I do have somewhere, um, that's even better. This is a Cricut gadget. You guys probably have a couple of them. I know I do. Oh, these ones here, this one here, I like the best. So this is the one, it's called a self-closing tweezer, you see? So this is like what we're used to seeing with a tweezer. Okay, and this is a self-closing tweezer, which means when you press on it, it opens, and when you let go, it closes. So picking up things like uh, this is easier. Now, these, these are also really good for making rolled flowers, which I know everybody loves those rolled flowers. So I actually have a project that we're going to be making for, um, I, I was thinking about doing it for Valentine's, but then I started thinking, you know, my mother's birthday is actually in a couple of days. It might be tomorrow. And I was thinking that I would make her a little, uh, 
a garland of some sort because her room is starting to get really lived in. I'm going to have to take you guys down there. Now watch what I'm doing here with the owl. So I'm going to glue the owl right here, but don't put any glue here, okay? You need to glue it up uh, on, higher on the card. You have to save room for that piece. So I'm going to glue it right here. So my mother still has a Christmas tree in her room. She likes it and uh, she keeps it. It's my old favorite little tree that I gave her. So she loves that. And then I found some like old, old things of ours from when we were kids. And I, I gave them to her to put in her room. And then my sister uh, gave her this beautiful uh it it was like a photo that she had put on a canvas it was so really awesome it was a photo of all of us when we were in canada not canada new hampshire we were almost in canada all right so you see what i just did i glued it right down here and then that leaves room for a little valentine or whatever i don't know crayon Whatever you guys want to do. But isn't that adorable? Oh, my God. And I might have done it a little crooked here. I apologize. So um, I think it looks adorable. Because especially if you're going to give it to other kids in the classroom, it looks like your grand helped you. <laughs> so... <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's do the tree bag. So the treat bag is much the same way, but we're going to do it on both sides. See? So it's going to actually have the... So it's almost like you got two uh, owls facing each other. It's not like actually proportionate or whatever. Realistic, I should say. It's not realistic. So we're going to start with this. And this has scores all the way across here. Flip it over all the way across here. And then here and here okay so the first thing i'm going to do is do this side now i'm going to make sure that i keep those uh scores really crisp okay and if you have trouble with your fingers and keeping it crisp you can get your scraper and do that it's up to you so once you did that i just go up I go backward and forward. I always just do that. Then flip it to the front and take and fold over the tabs, the long tabs, okay? Flip it to the long tabs, all right? Now flip it to the wrong side and take your little heads. I don't know what else to call them. There's three different colors white black and the green so it's going to go on white first then black then green and then you're going to flip it and do the other side okay so there's no there's no like wrong way i think to do this so yeah just thought oops well, I guess I suppose there might be a wrong way. You know what? There is a wrong way to do it. You should put the glue on the back side of the front because um, I'll show you why. See, there's a little glue in the front and on the eyeballs. Aww. Okay. There is a wrong way to do it. <laughs> Follow me for more tips. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I crack myself up, and that's all that's important. You know, they say you should laugh every day. And so if you're not laughing at yourself, you're missing a great opportunity to be healthy. That's me, happy every day. Uh, and the culinary team from the high school was there, handing out little hors d'oeuvres afterwards. It was so cute. They were, and, and also the chorale group was there. What else? Who else was there? The band, the marching band. And uh, I don't know who else. I, I kind of wasn't paying too much attention to that, but they were really good. They did all these lovely patriotic songs, you know, God Bless America and 
uh, my country, tis of thee, the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, they didn't do the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, what am I doing? Okay, here. And then, you know, the mayor spoke, and then the new city council. The one thing that I thought was so, so funny, and my friend Stacy said, there had to have been something that caused this, right? Halfway through, they do this picking of who's going to sit where. <laughs> it's hilarious. So they pick the seats for the city council. Um, and so for that year, the city council is going to sit in p certain positions. And my friend uh, Stacy turned to me. She goes, I want to know what the story was that it led to that. And I was like, oh, my God, right? It seemed like the silliest thing to me. It seemed like the silliest thing. So we just had a laugh when the, because it seemed like, you know, did somebody have a fight about this at one time? Like, I want to be in this seat and that. I don't know. It was just funny. So we have a good time. I amuse myself. All right. So now that I've done the both sides of my adorable little guy here, you can flip it over and put on the last pieces, which I think I will do. Or you can wait and do this later. Um, and... It, it's a little awkward. So I think doing it before you put it together is the best choice. So he has a little tiny beak that I cut out in uh, sparkle glitter and the two hearts. Hi, Santos here. Santos here, everybody. Hi. He says hi. He's very soft-spoken. He doesn't talk a lot. Um, and today is garbage day. So he goes all around the house to all of oops to all of the um garbage pails in the house you know and he goes and puts them out in the barrels and he does all my recycling all my composting and he keeps my house clean he's a really good guy so okay my little tiny beak is really small so I'm going to put that in my tweezers and put a little bit of glue on it and then place it. Is that the way it should go? No, it should be more like pointing down. Yeah. All right. Pointing down. All right. Just be careful there. You might have to press down a little bit. And if a little bit of glue comes off the side, just use your weeding tool just to kind of clean that up. Flip it over. Do the other side. And I like the wings sort of sticking out a little bit because it looks like wings, you know. And these are just hearts, which is so cute. Such a cute idea. I don't know who created it, but really pretty. So, and we're putting this here, and where's my little, there it is. Um, oh, so tomorrow on the show, we are doing, so this I don't think is Robin Bob, um, and it sort of reminds me of the image set called Simply Charmed, which makes me think maybe somebody took that image set and created this smaller image set um, to do it. But anyway, we're going to go back to Rob and Bob pick up this little piece here though ah, come on having trouble pick it up okay and um anyway so we're going back to our rob robin bobathon going on and we're going to be making a really pretty i think it could be used as like just a winter card um, as a thank you, because, you know, a lot of people do things for each other at Christmas, and the first time they get to see each other, you know, after the holidays, they're like, Happy New Year, and and uh, I the same thing happened to me, you know, or uh, people, you know, send, do things for me all through the year, and I send them a, a Christmas card, and I want to send them, you know, they send me something, whatever. Anyway, so I'm flipped down the back, and now I'm going to glue these two tabs, okay? All right. And then I'm going to lift them up. This is a little hairy, okay? Because you're going to lift them up, and then you're going to lift this up. And you might have to turn this around 
but I like to do it like this way. It seems easier because your line is longer, but you know, this happens. Now you could use double stick tape and then you wouldn't have this happening too, by the way. But I got my glue out, so that's what I'm doing. Maybe we should use the double stick tape for the other side. How's that? We'll try this for that. And... Ah! All right, you guys. Oh, my God. Trash people are coming. All right, so instead of that, let's put a double stick tape on here. The fun of live programming. You get to see me mess up and fix it. And hopefully that will be... Actually, while we're sitting here, I'm going to also put the handle on one side to make it easier. Okay, so you see that? I put double stick tape here. It's going to be easier, but it's going to take a little, uh, you know, precision. Now, I, I did cut two of these out as opposed to the original. So uh, I just wanted it to be a little more, I don't know, hefty. Because kids, you know, their hands are wet and they're holding things and, and then it, it rips. That always happens to like Easter baskets and stuff. So I like to double up on this. All right, and you can put the pink on the outside or on the inside. It's up to you. All right, and then we're going to take our brads. And these are cheapy, like old-fashioned brads, okay? And they have like a little tack on the end. And then they have here these two little wings, one is longer than the other. So you grab the other one, open it up a little tiny bit, okay? And then take your two pieces that need to be attached together. So let's put the pink on the outside and we're gonna put the brad through both holes. Uh, come here, brad through the hole and brad through the hole with the, the tack side facing outward okay then flip it on its back and then take and press down either one of those little wings all right and you'll see there it gives it movement and it won't rip it and it's really nice it's so much better than just using glue so do it's easier to do one side first so now let's take off this double stick tape I, I always think you put, put little candies in here. I You know, I was thinking last night, you know what? I think Valentine's Day is my favorite. I, I think it's my favorite. Uh, I mean, I love Christmas. I've always loved Easter. But I think Valentine's has become my favorite. Once I got over the, oh... I need my true love to give me my true love. You know what I mean? Once I got over that crap, um, then I started thinking, you know, it's so much fun, you know, for friends to give friends valentines and just to tell people. Like, I think we have to normalize telling people that we love them. Because every time I say it to people, like last night when I saw... Beverly, I was like, I love you, girl. And she's like, you know, she's like, I don't know, she's maybe 65, 70, 70 years old, but she's like, oh, you're so sweet. And and she, she brought up the fact that, you know, she goes, you're handling this so well. And I'm like, I'm like, but, you know, I don't have a choice. It is what it is. And, you know, you, you take what you get. You don't get upset. Basically, <laughs> that's, that's what I used to tell my son all the time. You take what you, you get what you, wait, you take what you get, you don't get upset. Meaning, if, you know, 
if they only hand you a scoop of ice cream, one scoop, and it's not your favorite flavor, you're not going to complain about it. Just eat that ice cream because it's still ice cream. You know what I mean? It's still an option. All right, so see, I'm going to put that in here on the inside. Uh, what are the chatters talking about? <laughs> the chatters are talking about Corporal punishment in the classroom. Oh, you guys are getting way too serious over there. All right. So this is what we got. What do you think, you guys? Um, it is just so cute. Now, I don't know. Your school might be different. Don't put candy. Nothing with nuts or whatever. Or maybe they say no candy at all. And then you can make something like this. And if you go to the dollar store and stuff, you can buy little things, whether they're crayons or erasers, remember? And it's just like fun. It doesn't have to be candy, you know? And, uh, and I just think, oh, it's so cute. And I love the colors. What do you guys think? Pretty sweet for an owl. Oh, my God, Loretta, you make me laugh. You make me laugh. All right, you guys. Listen, whether you try it or not, this is not, is this not the cutest? But think about what I said. Normalize saying I love you to people. Because it really, it freaks them out. Like, it's funny because like I'd say to my sister, I love you. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the little wings on this guy. And she She's not somebody that says that all the time. And every time she leaves, I, I tell her, I love you. And, and she's like, oh, yeah, I love you too. But my sister, being the oldest, is all matter of fact. Like, when Owen got back from the hospital, she's like, well, now you know. <laughs> Don't do it again. And I was like, Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was thinking, I was thinking that too. Like here, my kid who is 17, he thinks he's an adult, right? But we're in the, um, in the emergency room yesterday, whatever, the day before yesterday. And now you got to know this about my kid. He's, first of all, he is, he's autistic. All right. And he was raised by me. That's the second thing. And he doesn't like a lot of physical touch. It's just kind of a thing with us. And so, like, I don't hug him, kiss him. I will tell him I love him. I'm like, I love you. And he doesn't really respond. But, um, but in the in the uh, emergency room, he's like, hold my hand. He's squeezing my hand as if he was having a baby. <laughs> oh, all right, everybody. Um, I haven't seen any Valentine cards in years. Oh, do it. It's so much fun. I love those little erasers. All right, you guys, thank you for coming. I, I will hug you. I will hug you. But generally, I'll just be like, make a big show of it. And go like, oh, my God, I can't believe I saw you. That's kind of like me. But I'll hug. I, I hug. But I just don't hug my son, you know. So I then I go and ask everybody else for hugs. Maybe that's what it is, right? Well, let's make wobbles. Our Dean... I got to tell you about my wobbles. I ordered wobbles. I ordered them and from Amazon. And that was right before Christmas. Because remember, we wanted to make that thing with the wobble. And um, I ordered it. And I was going through my orders yesterday. What did I get? What do I have to return? That sort of thing. Because my sister, she handles all my returns. I, I have handlers here. I, I realize that I do. But um, Santo takes care of the house. And my sister is like my manager, my real life coach. And she comes, did you did you pay your gas bill? Did you get your groceries? What do you need at the grocery store? All that stuff. Anyway. All right, you guys. Have a lovely day. I will talk to you again tomorrow. We're working on an iron-on on cardstock project tomorrow. Um, and that we're going to be using this beautiful white glitter iron on, and it is a beautiful card. 
I have to do the iron on, but look at how beautiful this card is. This is also Robin Bob. And uh, I put a nice inscription. Uh, May the beauty of the season fill your heart with peace. And I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. We'll put it all together and that will be a whole lot of fun. Iron on. It's not just for t-shirts. All right. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you later. So the wobbles never came, and I'm like, what? So they're, you know, they're the action wobbles. They're, they're, well, I'll come up with an action wobble card, okay, Ardeen? But I still don't know if I'm going to get my wobbles back because I put in my return, and I don't know if they're going to resend it or what. So, yes, let's do a corgi butt wobble. Oh, my God. I'm going to go design that now. All right, you guys. Talk to you later. Keep those craft, those crickets cutting, okay? All right. Oh, they do? I did not know Michael's sell wobbles. I'll look there. I'm kind of shut off at Michael's right now. I don't think my sister's going to let me buy anything crafty <laughs> for the next three months because I kind of messed up and, and put everything on PayPal. And uh, my sister's like, I am shutting you off you need to be organized. I'm like, organized? What's that? <laughs> so I'm trying to get her. I keep telling her. Every time she comes, I'm like, Teresa, you have to be my manager. And she's like, a manager? What do you need a manager for? I go, for my life. It's too confusing. I need somebody to like, To she comes over my house and vacuums my house. I mean, it's, she's one step away from being the manager. To, the one step is a title, you know? All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.